Hello everyone. According to many scientists, if you want to have a fully working brain when you reach 100 years old, then you must constantly train it, in the same way as you do with your body. So if we perform special exercises to keep a good physical form, then to keep our brain on fire, we need to solve different problems and force it to get a little tight. Well, let's not waste our time and your time, and let's get intellectual. In today's video, we've prepared seven interesting puzzles for you, and you're going to need some logic, some attentiveness, and a non-standard approach to solve these problems. Let's get it on. Glasses So, before any physical exercise, you have to warm up properly. Similarly, our brain needs to get ready before performing some hard work. Therefore, for starters, we chose a rather easy puzzle. So, picture that there are six glasses in front of you, like this. Three of them have water, while the others are empty. You need to rearrange the glasses, making the empty and the filled glasses alternate. However, there is a small condition. You can move only one glass to solve this problem. So, think away, smarty pants. Do it! Hopefully you got the answer right. You just need to take the second filled glass and pour the water into the second empty glass. As you can see, now they're in the proper order. Easy peasy. Bridge So the level of difficulty will increase, as well as the size of your brain if you've got the answers right. In this case, you have to look and listen carefully. There are two islands in front of you. In one of them, there is a boy and an apple tree, and in the other one, there is a girl. Between the islands runs a bridge that can withstand the boy and one apple at the same time. The problem is that the boy needs to bring two apples to the girl, but he can only go through the bridge once. Besides, there is no other way to bring apples. So, it's time for you to answer. How can the boy transport two apples through the bridge at the same time? It's time to reveal the answer, which, in fact, is very simple. The boy just needs to walk on the bridge and juggle the two apples. Thus, one of them will always be in the air, and the conditions are followed. Fisherman In this puzzle, we're going to help this fisherman. He bought himself a five-foot-long fishing rod. He decided to go fishing, but little did he know that the rules for carrying objects in trains forbid carrying objects longer than four feet. So, here's the question for you. How can the fisherman travel with his fishing rod without violating the conditions for traveling? Well, did you solve it? In fact, if the fisherman wants to travel, he simply needs to find a box that's four foot long and three feet wide. The fishing rod can easily fit inside. He just needs to put it diagonally. Ingots now it's time for some really complicated problems. Once upon a time, a brave archaeologist found nine ingots in an ancient cave, along with some old scales. The man also noticed an ancient manuscript nearby, where it was said that one of these ingots was a little heavier than the others, since it was made of real gold, but the rest were fake. You might think that you can weigh every piece and understand which is the real treasure, but there's one problem. The scales are so old that they can collapse at any moment. Therefore, the archaeologist has the chance to use them only twice. So, how can he use them two times and find out which of the ingots is actually made of gold? This was probably some heavy work for your brain. So, to use the scales twice, and at the same time determine which ingot is heavier than the others, it's necessary to divide them into three identical groups. Next, take the first two groups and put them on the scales. If they're balanced, then we have to work with the other three ingots. If they're not, then we'll be working with the heavier group. Take any two and put them on the scales. If they are balanced, then the other ingot is surely made of real gold. If one of the ingots in the scale outweighs, then you know that it's made of gold. Poison. Now let's try to solve an even more complex problem. In one very distant kingdom, among its inhabitants, there was a very strange rule. If a person drank some poison, he could only be saved in one way. 
he had to drink an even stronger poison. This might sound rather strange, but they weren't very good at making antidotes, so a stronger poison neutralized the weaker poison. Once the local king decided that he should have the strongest poison with him so no one could poison him, the ruler thought about it very seriously. He called for the two best chemists in the kingdom, and then he ordered each of them to create the strongest poison ever made. When everything was ready, the king decided to have a little fun and ordered that each of the chemists will first drink the poison of his rival and then his, and the person that created the strongest poison would survive. The first chemist knew that he was less talented than the second and simply wasn't able to create the strongest poison, but he had a plan because he really wanted to keep on living. On the day of the competition, each of the chemists drank the poison of his opponent and then drank their own poison. After a while, the more talented chemist died and the other chemist celebrated his victory. So, you have a few seconds to think and guess what the first chemist did to survive. Well, it's time to reveal the answer, which wasn't easy to guess. The thing is that before the competition, the first chemist drank his own poison, and in his test tube, he poured ordinary water. That's why the stronger poison of his opponent acted on him as an antidote. But the second chemist was much less fortunate. At the competition, he drank water, and then the poison created by him, and therefore, he died. Cells we're absolutely sure that your brain is now working in full force, so you'll have no problems to solve the following riddle. Four people were imprisoned in different cells without any food or water. It's impossible to get out through the top. Above the first cage, there's a big flame. Above the second cell, there's a huge and very heavy stone. And above the third one, there's permanently boiling water. And cell number four is locked on the top and on the bottom. Moreover, all these locked cells hang over a deep lake. Nearby, there's a boat that you can reach swimming. Those in the first three cells could escape through the bottom, but they can't swim, while the fourth person can. By the way, only the third prisoner can open the fourth cell because the key is in his cage. You need to find a solution and save the life of the four prisoners. Hopefully you managed to solve this puzzle. Nevertheless, here's the solution. Since the water above the third cell is constantly boiling, then sooner or later it will evaporate. The person can climb up and release the guy in cell number four. The rest is easy. The only one who can swim gets to the boat, helps the third prisoner get down, and they together save the first and second prisoners through the bottom of their cells. Doors. We hope you still have a little bit of strength because we have one last problem for you. One day, a traveler, after wandering through the woods for a long time, came across an ancient castle and he decided to check it out. But as soon as he went inside, the front doors immediately slammed behind him and they couldn't be opened. The traveler had nothing to do but to look for another way out. After several hours of researching the ancient building, the poor fellow came across a huge room with three doors, next to which was a note. One of these doors leads to freedom. However, behind the first door there is a pond with a shark that hasn't eaten for years. The second door leads to an executioner who will kill anyone who goes through his door. And behind the third door, you would find a huge flame which can't be extinguished. So the question is, which door should the traveler choose to get out of the castle alive? In fact, the answer to this riddle is very simple. If you listen carefully, you might have noticed that the shark hadn't eaten for years. Do you understand what we're talking about? That's right. If the shark hasn't eaten for years, then it's probably already dead. And it's the first door that will lead the prisoner out of the castle to salvation. Well, our brain training has come to an end. Now tell us in the comments how many answers you got right and where did you fail. Share your scores in the comments and give us a like for all these brainy riddles. If you haven't checked Jelly Gummy Bear's channel yet, you should do it right away. You'll certainly like all the funny experiments with the Jelly Bear. Ouch. Cool life hacks, awesome homemade stuff, and exciting adventures that are waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.